And now, your KY3 Storm Team forecast. Well, good evening, everyone. Hopefully, you had a chance to go out and enjoy that gorgeous weather we saw today. And if not, I think you're in luck because we're looking at very similar conditions as we head toward your Sunday afternoon. It will be a little cool to start off the morning. We'll be down to the 50s late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Quickly, though, with the sunshine climbing back up into the mid 70s. Now, of course, one thing that we're still watching tonight that area of low pressure, it's been spiraling its way across the Ohio Valley today, starting to push its way up toward the Great Lakes. It's taking with it the chance for any rain showers and a good chunk of our cloud cover as well. Now, without the clouds to kind of act like a blanket, and keep in the heat for us. It is still a little cool tonight, so you can kind of use last night as a good gauge for whether or not it'll be a nice night to just give the air conditioner a break or even leave some of the windows open. For now, we are seeing a few spots down to the 50s. Mountain Grove, one of the colder spots, 53 degrees already, so I wouldn't be surprised if those places in the mid 50s even see some upper 40s by the time tomorrow morning rolls around. Now, the clouds like we saw today, they're going to continue to impact the temperatures. So even though we're expecting mid-70s for Springfield, a few areas towards central Missouri and up by Rolla as well, they could be a little bit cooler. Now, a warming trend is going to be on the way ahead of the next chance for showers for the coming work week. Now, we've already kind of focused on that area of low pressure. It's going to continue to spiral its way well up into the Great Lakes and really isn't causing much of a concern aside from maybe a few passing clouds. The bigger thing that we're focusing on over here, high pressure in control. As high pressure continues to slide its way across the Ozarks for both Sunday and Monday, well, not only will we be watching for more sunshine, but as it moves around in that clockwise pattern, we'll have a shift in wind, so a bit of a southerly wind coming in place, also helping to bring in much warmer, but also some more moist air. Now, the moisture that's going to be funneling in, it'll be something that we watch, especially with this approaching cold front. The cold front that's going to be pushing its way into the plains by the beginning of the work week, well, it'll be moving here toward the Ozarks by about Tuesday night into the day on Wednesday. So even though you need the sunglasses tomorrow, I wouldn't put that rain gear away too far just yet. Here's kind of what our models are thinking, even with the timing of this system. I think as early as Tuesday night, we could see a few light showers here or there. But even as we head toward the day Wednesday, most of us will just be watching for a few light showers, maybe upwards of about a quarter of an inch of rain. Most of the heavier showers, that's where we get into those blue and purple areas. So it'll be where the cold front initiates by the time Tuesday and Wednesday rolls around for central parts of Kansas. And of course, the change in pressure systems and that cold front rolling through, it'll affect your temperatures as well. Tonight will be down close to 50 degrees, but much like we saw today, those areas up like we were mentioning by Rolla, Camdenton, even by Jefferson City and Sedalia, they're going to struggle to hit 70 degrees. While by the middle of the afternoon, we'll be talking about mid-70s, potentially even a few upper 70s appearing down by Springfield, Monette, and Rogers. Now, as we head toward the day on Monday, again, more sunshine, that southerly breeze in place. It will uptick the temperatures a bit. We're going to be watching for highs by the beginning of the work week, closer to 80 degrees. Now, tonight, we can use last night again like a gauge to figure out whether or not it's a good night to keep the windows open. 50 degrees for me, it's a little cool, so that's about the temperature that if you do have the window open, you might want to consider even adding an extra blanket. Layering up tomorrow, I think it's going to be a good idea as well because even though we're starting off in the 50s, very comfortable afternoon high temperatures continuing to climb up to the mid, maybe even upper 70s. Now, again, further south and east you go, even if you're thinking about heading down toward the Tulsa area, that'll be where we have that chance for 80s making an appearance. The rest of us, 80s won't be far behind. They'll be moving in by the beginning of the work week ahead of some rainfall by the second half of the week.